I grew up right here, North Modesto, on my grandfather's farm. I spent my childhood playing outdoors here, running around, swimming in a swimming pool. As I got a little older, my grandfather was anxious to put me to work, to give me chores, keep me busy. Didn't like to see a, a kid idle. When my uh, grandfather bought this farm in the late 1940s, we were six miles from the city of Modesto. And back in those days, most growers burned their prunings or when they took out orchards, they burned them. There was, there was no air quality regulation and no burn permits were even required. By the early 1970s, our farm had become the urban edge of the city of Modesto. A lot of innovation had to come out of farming on this urban edge. We no longer could do the same practices that we used to do. One of them was burning our brush. I felt the responsibility to help my family find a solution for ag burning. My father was the creative artist that turned farmer after my grandfather passed away, that had the creative idea initially of not wanting to haul the prunings and the chippings from his garden to the farm to burn, but uh, he wanted to buy a wood chipper, which we did, and he started chipping up the brush around the garden and putting it around his trees as a mulch. This mulch that was developing around the trees, you could see it and smell it and feel it and you just knew it was becoming this beautiful, good, healthy soil. I wanted to put out a small scale scientific study that I could show that a whole orchard could be recycled or that a whole tree could be recycled and not be stunted by all the wood chips and carbon going back in the ground and to show that it wouldn't be diseased or the disease wouldn't carry on to the next orchard. So I put out a small barrel trial at my own orchard to see if almond trees could actually be recycled. After six years of watching this barrel trial, I was able to observe increased tree growth in the trees growing with the wood chips. I was able to see increased water infiltration. I was able to see increased soil organic matter and increased soil carbon. But most importantly, I didn't have disease and the trees ultimately grew better. I felt convinced that I was ready to go to a larger scale and a larger trial in a commercial almond orchard. I finally had this research trial and I have to admit I was nervous. And then that combined with like the bug of the cylinder and the water soil. I've been going to this trial at the Kearney Ag Center for 13 years, and every month I'm doing something different. Early on, I was pruning the young trees and fertilizing, often taking trunk circumference measurements or leaf stem water potential measurements, soil sampling. And then in the third leaf, the trees had their first harvest, and every year since then, we've been taking yield and harvest data. We saw increased soil organic matter. We saw increased soil carbon. We saw increased water holding capacity. We saw less water stress on the trees we were measuring. And ultimately, what growers want to know the most, we saw increased yields with whole orchard recycling versus burning. As a young farm advisor, I was able to study whole orchard recycling. It was a dream come true. I was able to study my own hobby. And I was able to see this expand into my profession and become part of my work. I still remember that first grower that called me, Steve Thorley. He'd read my article in the Pacific Nut Producer, and he was ready to try it on his own farm. Steve was a true environmentalist. He'd spent all this water and fertilizer growing his first generation orchard. He liked the concept that it could be incorporated into the ground, that it could improve his soil health or soil fertility and benefit the next generation orchard that he was going to plant that whole orchard recycling would be a sustainable alternative 
to open or cogeneration burning. What's been very gratifying for me is to have growers believe in me, to have growers believe in my research and to try whole orchard recycling, especially when it was first done as a great expense to them before there were any incentives. And I think my grandfather would be very proud that an alternative to open field burning actually came from his family farm and, and from his grandson. I owe those growers that believed in me a great debt and I thank you very much.